Hello everyone, welcome to my political journalism news channel. The story for today is the federal government is urging Australians not to travel to Russia as the United States and Europe move to isolate the country with harsh financial sanctions and flights bans. The European Union has imposed a ban on Russian planes, shutting down airspace for Russian-owned or controlled aircraft in retaliation for Vladimir Putin's full-scale invasion of Ukraine. Meanwhile, analysts say Western sanctions to block selected Russian banks from an international payment system, as well as an EU move to ban transactions made by Russia's central bank, could cause financial turmoil in the country in coming weeks. On Sunday, the Department of Foreign Affairs and Trade upgraded its travel advice for Russia to do not travel, saying the situation in the country was becoming more uncertain. Do not travel to Russia due to the security environment and military conflict with Ukraine, the department said. If you're in Russia, consider leaving by commercial or private means if it's safe to do so. The security situation could deteriorate further with little warning. Remain vigilant and avoid any protests or demonstrations. On Monday, Foreign Minister Marise Payne told reporters that she would soon lift that advice further, and instruct all Australians in Russia to get out of the country right now. I am advised that both France and the United States have just upgraded their travel advice in relation to Russia to leave immediately, she said. I will ask DFAT to similarly upgrade our travel advice, warnings over access to cash. The department also said the financial sanctions and travel bans could make it difficult for Australians in Russia to access cash or leave the country. Commercial travel routes between Russia and Europe have been impacted by measures taken in response to military action in Ukraine, the travel advice says. A number of Russian airports are now closed to the public. There are reports of non-Russian credit and debit cards being declined in Russia. Be prepared with alternate means of payment should your cards be declined. The warning comes as Mr. Putin put Russia's nuclear forces on high alert, in a move Prime Minister Scott Morrison labeled reckless. Ukrainian forces have mounted stiff resistance to the Russian invasion so far, but analysts warn that Russia may intensify its assault in coming days. That is all for today news, thank you for watching to my channel, please be sure to leave your comment and subscribe below for more news update.